Hey, you guys, I just thought I'd show you how I modified that um, sort of minimalist bag that I showed to a scout um, bag. I'm going to be hiking my family's property here. Um, I'm going to take my 410 with I me. I have my thin, breathable work gloves. I love these for summer because... They're leather on the inside, so, you know, they're like a good work glove, but they still breathe, and they're thin enough for summer. I wear these almost constantly up here. I got a small thing of bear spray. I have my compass and thermometer. Um, right now, 86. That's not too bad. My whistle, my emergency kit from frog tech gear sanctuary you can go over to his channel to check out what's in that um chapstick tissue compass Ugh. why is it when you're tr oh my zipper pull came off all right i'll have to fix that when you're trying to hurry you never hurry this is a map of uh, the area here and our property. Um, snare wire. I don't need that right now, but it's just in here. All different size snare wire. This is kind of an emergency kit, too. This is one that stays in my... This is one that stays in my truck all the time. And then when I want to do the minimalist thing, I take this one off and that one off, which I showed you guys. Lighter, duct tape, ranger bands, and uh, that's a heavy gauge um, uh, thread, you know, to, like to sew your clothing or repair your clothing with. Uh, there's another lighter in there. Tweezers, right in the rain. Notepad. Um, there's a regular, just a regular ink pen in there too. Um, you guys saw what's in these two. That, that hasn't changed. So I'm just going to leave those alone because you've already seen those. If you haven't, go to my video that shows my almost minimalist kit and you'll see what's in those. Uh, oh, on the back, I have two of the glow sticks. What else is in this thing back here? Oh, first aid kit. There's all good stuff in there. Um, emergency blanket. That's all that's in that back pocket. This is a really good emergency kit. I think I showed that one already. And then on the inside. Paracord. Garbage bag. Hand sanitizer, deer antler, you know, like I can use it as a digging tool. And actually, I want to try and do some flint napping stuff. So that's another reason I have that in there. Um, bug net, fire starters that um, Phyllis Mulkey gave me, my Cabela's. Bandana that has all different animal tracks on it. This is a huge rain poncho that can be used for shelter. Needles for sewing, repairing your clothing. This is uh, alcohol for my alcohol stove. Oh, <laughs> Phyllis also gave me these two containers. This one, see if this will focus, is full of little bitty hooks and sinkers for uh, like panfish and trout. Let me show you. See? I filled it. She put a few in there um, when she gave it to me. And then I filled it up with as many as I could get in there. And I put a couple little tiny jigs in there. Let me get them all back in there. And then 
I put, uh, I turned it into a complete fishing kit. I actually have 150 yards of six pound test fishing line wrapped around the center. And then I put a ranger band over it to, so it doesn't unwind. So this is for panfish and trout. And then this one, I didn't put the line on it yet, or the ranger band, but inside is all big hooks, big sinkers, fishing lures, and night crawler harnesses that have the blades on them, you know, so you can get like northern and lake trout and stuff like that. I also have some lures in here. So this is for big fish and the little ones for little fish. And I'm going to put a uh, probably, I don't know, 10 pound test or bigger on this one. Probably 10 pound test. So these are two mini fishing kits I made and they stay in here. My life straw. Another emergency blanket. And those are the big ones for two people. And then I got hand warmers and foot warmers. And then Ranger Kuki sent these mirrors out to everybody. And I have mine in this kit because this is a kit that stays with me all the time. Um, my mirror, another mirror, this is a signaling mirror, and it's got a whistle on it and a little compass in the corner. Stupid flies. And then this is my Esbit cooking pot. Ugh, I can get it open. Inside, it's full of my Southpaw fire uh, fuel cells and fire starters and then it's got the little stand in it and I also have one of the Blue Hill stove rings in there so I mean I have right here pretty much everything I need for everything I got the five C's covered plus I wanted to add extra. to the video here too that um, I forgot to mention that I always have a knife in my pocket, a knife on my hip, and normally my Surefire flashlight hangs right here on the side. So I always have that. Um, two knives at least with me, and I always have a lighter in my pocket. Then I have my neck knife, and my ferro rod right now is around my neck, and then I always have a spare one in there too. So I usually got all that stuff covered, and I didn't show it in the video, so I just wanted to add that. Okay, so let me know what you think. I know I had said that I was going to have that one tarp that I was going to put around a strap I was going to make for the minimalist kit, but I decided just to add it, <clears throat> excuse me, to this pouch and just make the kit like that and leave it that way. It doesn't add hardly any extra weight. Believe it or not, this thing, even with all that stuff in it, it's only a couple pounds, and when you have it on, you don't feel it. So I decided to go with that, and I really like it. That combined with my backpack really makes a great kit, you guys. And I can take that alone and have my food, my water, and all of my other stuff covered. And I could be out with just this alone for at least three or four days if I had to, if I got lost. So I feel really good about this kit. Let me know what you think. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.